Good morning everyone, it's Tanya of Cute and Cuddly Nursery. I decided that I'm going to add a blue layer to my babies today. This is Summer Rain. She, I think, is ready for blue. So, um, I also have Brittany in the same colors, basically. And I wish I could grab Aria. I do have Aria here, or Aria. I'm not sure how to, Aria sounds better, I don't know. But anyway, here she is compared to Summer Rain. Um, I didn't realize she had a hair on her eye that, no good, there we go. So I'm gonna do another blue layer on her though. She's a little bit, um, kind of too orange for me so I'm just gonna add a little more but she's looking good um, I'll grab oh, giant Joseph here as well and Joseph is looking really good too um, I'm not really sure what to do with Joseph if if he is done um, or if I want to add uh, maybe a blue layer just one to him so Anyhow, uh, this is the color that I mixed up, Ultimate Fusion, it's number 8, it's the fallow, I, I think, I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, but it's blue, cool, this is actually empty, um, so I need to, I will be getting more, but it'll be in the golden brand, not Ultimate Fusion, and if I can grab this, I will show you the color. So this is um, five drops of the paint. I just want to show kind of how um, thin it is. It's not super th thin, you know, not super light. So um, I do want some color to show up. I think I'll use a little bit on the back of her head first. Um, if you've been reborning long, uh, you know that you start with the back of the head. Because if there's any boo-boos, it's the back of the head and not the front of the head. So, And then, okay, yeah, you do want to have a blotting sponge that's wet. A piece of sea sponge that was stuck to there somehow. So get that nice and wet. And then I also have one that I'm going to leave dry. And the dry ones will give you more pattern to show up. Wet will blend it all in. Okay, so I don't know if you can see. It's not um, overly dark, which is good. I don't mind a little pattern showing up because that adds um, depth. Seeing a bit of pattern. Everybody's so chatty today. It's funny, I had no messages before starting the video. And of course when I start a video, that's when everybody decides to message me. okay though I will get back to them soon probably just my mom so I have the heat on today so you probably hear Marty he is underneath my table on his little pillow and it Last I checked was um, 4 degrees Celsius, which is 39 Fahrenheit approximately, 39.2 or something. And um, my mom said that they've got like 70 today, so. But I'm up north, so it's cold. 
and they're forecasting snow today already it's not even october yet still kind of kick myself for not going south instead i went north that's okay though I do like it up here, it's really pretty and everything, but in the winter it is freezing. Wish I had like taken a before picture and then do an after. I hope I'm in the frame this time. I I never know, like I always move my camera around so I never know, you know, until I watch the video. whether I'm in frame or not. So I think I am. I do like kind of test, you know, and before I start I grab the baby and kind of like pretend I'm painting and where I would hold it and I'm like, yeah, that looks good. But in actuality, when I'm holding it, I hold it close to me, right? So I have to move the camera so that it's nearby. I just want to tone down the peachiness of her cheeks a bit more. There we go. No, she's still not where Aria is, but getting there. Aria added a bit more red to her um, because she's a preemie and preemies are red so she got a bit more than um, but I might go back in and do a little bit more red in her cheeks here and maybe her ears too I do need to go over her ears a bit and then I don't want too much blue there. I don't know where I'm getting this dry bits of paint. Well, like I said, that blue color is um, empty. So I'm going to have to go to Michael's and get some more um, in the golden brand. But I'm waiting, um, I wanted to order some more Honeybug pacifiers, and because I'm pretty much out of them, and I really like them, you know, especially for these babies, because where her lips are so flat here, and then the inside they're pretty flat too, so it works really good with um, the honey bug. Same with Joseph as well, and of course the other babies. Um, Brittany, I think, can take a bit of a modified, and then of course you can see Madison has a nice open mouth. So, like for her, um, I need to paint her tongue area a little bit more, but, um, she would be able to take a modified pacifier, no problem. I just want to add a bit more blue to the inside of her other ear here. And she's still looking peachy to me, so I don't want peachy, I want red. Yeah. Red's good. I like red. Okay. Blend, blend, blend. No, that looks more purple now. Instead of a pink, which is fine. I think I added more blue to the other. Let's go over one more time. I don't particularly like that squeaky sound, but that's what it does. I try to hold them upside down at the you know, different lighting hits. So, just to compare. 
And I want to do the corners of the eyes as well to add a bit more color there. And this side looks like it needs a little bit more. Well, I really hope I'm in the frame. I think so. I backed it off a little. So yesterday I had it too zoomed in and I think that's why you were not seeing me. Any little dots I get, I use a um, toothpick. I couldn't even think. I wanted to call it a Q-tip. That's not right. That's whale. <laughs> so, just to get some of that little speck off of there, whatever, you know. Hmm. So I tried using some Prisma pencils to darken in the lines, or the line border of her lips, but they didn't stay. I was so upset. The color didn't stay at all, so I'm having to use paint to do the border of the lips, which is fine, that's what I usually use. I just would thought it would be so much easier just to draw it on with pencil. And it was, but like I said, it just didn't, didn't stick. I hope I wasn't in the shot. I don't know, I don't, um, I don't like being in camera view. I should trim this paintbrush. It's kind of kind of annoying the shape of it. But I think it's just from leaving it in the water overnight and just I forget. And so I leave things and then I'm like, oh no. I forgot that. And then it dries like this, so I don't go through, or I don't change, I should say, my paintbrushes very often um, with like my Genesis paints or my air dry here. But my silicone, I have to change brushes with every baby because they just get caked on with silicone and the acetone just doesn't really do anything. Like you can get some um, paint off with the acetone, but it just does not want to fully budge off, you know. That's a pain. Okay, I don't know if she was in focus, but I really hope so. Oh, I'm starting to starve. I made um, Swedish meatballs last night in my instant pot. And now I'm not gonna lie, I cheated and used some pre-made meatballs. But I do make the sauce or gravy, whatever you want to call it, from scratch. I really like the instant pot. It is, whoops, it's been great. I got it for my birthday and I've been using it just about every day ever since. Um, I like that I can cook vegetables in it super quick. I make like a quick soup all the time with it. Just throw in a, like, a, you know, cut up some broccoli and throw it in with some butter and um, spices. Uh, salt and pepper. I use um, the Himalayan salt because it's not over processed, has lots of good stuff for you. And then the pepper and then I still think this eye is a little bit more blue than the other. Um, and then also 
I like to put in some thyme, a little bit of basil, some butter, um, uh, chicken broth, and some heavy whipping cream. And then I um, will taste it a bit, and because it's just uncooked vegetables, it's not going to kill you. To taste, it might not be warm, but it wouldn't kill you. And then um, I just turn on the pressure cooker setting for soup and I let it cook for about 25 minutes and then at the end I can, you know, squish some of the pieces down or leave it. So, I mean, it's been been really good. I really like it. My husband, of course, he doesn't like mushy things, so he's kind of like, ew, I don't like that. But I do, I don't know. And the kids seem to like it too. I'm just trying to see how she looks compared to her arm, right? Okay, so... Not too much of a difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I would do the arms as well, and how I've lost my brush, I found it. Okay. This layer also um, brings out your veining a bit as well, which is nice. I was doing like a teal layer before, but I think this lighter blue is actually better. So I'm only going to be doing the this half of the arm first. I like to, because it's air dry, you have to work kind of quick. So I want to work in halves. Sometimes, um, you know, if I'm wanting a pattern, more of a pattern, and I've made the paint um, darker, how do you, but um, I will actually work, say, just with the hand first or the foot first, get it blended, and then start on the arms. Sometimes it's just You know, you, you just want to work quick just to make sure you're not going to need to strip the kit after getting so far, right? So it's all like trial and error, even for me after six years. It's <laughs> still trial and error. Dusting off any little hairs that might be there. So, compare her a bit. Her arm now looks a little bit more bluey. But I like it. Let's see. There. I like that toned down color. Maybe I'll go over, probably go over her head a, one more time with the blue. And her little foot here. I love those spread toes. Okay, so now I am going to just do the foot because. I did the whole thing and I don't want any of it to, you know, dry and make any little spots or rings. You get rings with this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think I want to go over that little foot a little bit more just to... Oh, I hope that was in frame now, I don't know. I was holding it down too low. Needs an indicator, like beep, 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 it's not in the right spot, beep, 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 and then I know, okay, I gotta lift it up. <laughs> that sounds really annoying though, so I don't think I wanna go that route. Okay. And I think I'm gonna have to go over my creases again, but that's okay. With paint. Not ready to. Like, I wondered if you could use the Prisma colors. So, I have a huge thing of them. Uh, well, 60 in it, I guess. And, you know, I wanted to do the capillaries, but I just wonder if you could pencil in creases too. I, I mean, I really don't see why not. I just worry that they would probably leave too, though.
disappear when you add paint. I don't know. I don't have, unfortunately I don't have time to do much experimenting. I've got a, I've, I'm really close to finishing Flynn Eagle's hair. And so, which is great. Alright, just making sure these match. Looks good to me. Um, that little hand back up there. Okay, I'm just going to go over the little foot a little bit more with the blue. And so I need, after Flynn, I've got to work on little um, Madison here. Because I need Madison to... Um, oh, I guess I could. Let me see. I'm going to go over her head again. I'll get to her other arms and legs in a minute. But um, Madison was purchased by a customer for a friend of hers for Christmas. And so I want her to make it for Christmas. And usually the post office suggests shipping before like November. So I'm hoping to get her done you know, I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to take some time off of painting for a bit, just so I can get her rooted. Um, and then also, I had issues, like my normal um, hair supplier, um, I won't say who, but some of you may know, um, I ordered some custom, uh, like a dark strawberry blonde, uh, like a carrot top kind of color, darker though than, um, and then, uh, sent a reference photo as well, and what I got back was just terrible. Like, I, you know, um, was very disappointed because, I, you know, normally I don't have any trouble, but, you know, I understand that he is a bit stressed in his life currently, but... Oh my goodness. And so I, you know, messaged um, him and let him, you know, see the color that I actually got and how it was just way off. I got a little bit of blue up here and I don't want that there. Um, from the reference photo and I thought oh my gosh you know I just said to him like what am I supposed to do I've been done with this baby um, I have a customer waiting um, and what do I do you know so he said oh yeah I'll send you um, a correction because he sent alpaca and I'm pretty sure I ordered mohair I mean I do use alpaca sometimes but I wouldn't have ordered alpaca for this hair though. And um, on top of that, um, I kind of left him alone for like a week or two. And I messaged back and I said, okay, how is the hair coming? And he said, good, and would ship it out soon. Well, um, I haven't. I keep seeing more hair coming out, but nothing, no message to me. So I'm just kind of like, what do I do? You know, do I give up on this guy or should I wait? And, you know, I decided to go with somebody else. Um, if you've ever ordered from the, oh shoot, what's her name? Um, oh dear. It's the quirky chromastic I think something like that dot com and um, she's also on Facebook I think there's just a little speck something here there we go and um, I think you know I order like she just does ready-made hair so you have to be quick if you want to order from her because everybody else orders from her and she only has so much available and she puts it up on 
Fridays and Saturdays, so I need to check for today. Can you tell the difference in these two yet? Brittany doesn't have blue and little Summer Rain does. So, I can't really tell either. Huh? But, maybe this way? You can kind of tell. She's got a hair on the top of her head. There we go. Yeah, you can kind of tell. You can see her veining more, I think, on whoop, Summer Rain. Almost dropped her on the paint dish. Oh, that would have been so terrible. Okay, so I think they're looking really good. I think I will do more red on Summer Rain. She does look like she needs a bit more red. Just to liven her up, give her that, you know, newborn-y look and stuff. And then also I think I'll do the same with Brittany. Just some a bit more darker. Um, not a whole cheek, but just, you know, here and there. Um, and then maybe a little on her forehead and her ears. But otherwise, I think she looks good. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure, like... Joseph is probably about done. I'm cold, so I'm a little bit darker. I'm a little bit of fuzzy. Off of there, fuzzy. There we go. I love this sculpt. I wish he was smaller, though. He is going to be amazing to hold. That's all I can say. Oh my gosh. But yeah, he's looking good. Um, I don't really think he needs any blue, really. Um, I did do little capillaries on him. I don't know if it'll show up, but I did use the Prisma um, pencils just here and there. He's got a little bit of dry speck of paint there. If I can get it off. There we go. So, yeah. He's looking amazing. There's his big old arm with him. He needs his nails finished, but yeah, I really like this guy. Um, I'm contemplating ordering the awake version. I do like the awake version, but um, currently my order of pacifiers is about 200 Canadian. So, um, and then I also have a full body silicone that I'm ordering, and I need to pay. I'm pay doing like minimum payments of 125 US and so it'll be like six months before I can afford or not afford but have the silicone it's, it was an amazing price I couldn't say no right so and it is a blank and I'll be painting her and she, yes she is anatomically correct a sleeping kit as well so all right so um thank you all so much for watching I am I'm going to finish her two limbs, and then I'm going to go find something to eat, because I am starving. I think it's chaffle day, so. Um, and then I'll have some leftover Swedish meatballs, too, because they were so good. Alright, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a warm day.